Uh, Troy Strunkstelin, a precision egg specialist for Portland Implement in Cashton, Wisconsin. Um, a lot of producers have a yield monitor. Um, you know, whether it's whether it's the original Green Star in their combine, you know, maybe they're thinking they want to trade combines in a couple of years. They don't want to invest the money in a newer yield monitor. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, but you know, whether it's brand new out of the box or you know, one or two years old or ten years old, it, it absolutely has to be calibrated correctly. Um, that is the most crucial hour you're going to spend as far as data goes. There's nothing more important than, as far as data goes, than making sure that's calibrated. Um, as far as a producer, if, if you don't know how to do it, make, make sure that you contact somebody that does. Um, there's a lot of agronomists out there that know how to do it. There, there's, there's a lot of iron dealerships out there that know how to do it. Um, there's a lot of seed salesmen out there that know how to do it. And, and I know as far as ag leader goes, if you're not sure, um, their tech support is phenomenal. They will, they will completely walk you through a, a complete calibration. Um, with the latest firmware, I know the calibration has become a lot more, a lot simpler. Um, I was really surprised this year when we went to calibrate yield monitors. We updated their firmware, just how simple they had made it. Um, you know, it doesn't save you a whole lot of time, but it's just, it's so much easier to get through the steps. Um, it, but without without that calibration, there's no reason to, to take yield maps. Uh, there's no reason to save them. Basically, if you don't calibrate that yield monitor correctly, you could just as well not go through the steps to enter in the fields and save that data, because it's junk data. It's, it's not gonna be accurate at all. And what that's gonna relate to is, inaccurate subscriptions or prescriptions I'm sorry and, and it's gonna you know you're, you're gonna be putting the wrong rate of fertilizer down the wrong population of seed the wrong amounts of fertilizer it's it's extremely crucial that that gets calibrated correctly um, I, I guess you know it, whether whether or not the grower is wanting to utilize that data at this point or not, in the future they could perhaps want to. You need three, you know, a, a good starter is three years of solid data to, to be able to come up with with a, with a map that, that you're able to use. And down the road they could potentially want to do that. And it's, even if they're not using it this year, start saving those maps, start saving that data because it will, it will become important to you in the, in the near future.